Hello everyone, it's Sunday, September 11th. Um, you may have noticed that I haven't been posting on the group for a few days. I seem to have caught some sort of a bug. Thankfully not COVID, but uh, I haven't been feeling um, that well. So um, I sort of got behind on everything. You do remember that large stack of wool. That was supposed to be for the um, candle mats. And something happened, and the cutter seems to cut ovals, the one and a half inch cutter. There's something wrong with it, and it cuts ovals instead of circles. So I had to... Um, rethink everything after I had all of that wool dyed. So <clears throat> I'm going to um, be listing some um, of the stocking kits. I know some of you missed out on them and you're hoping that I will have more. That was the same color wool as for the um, candle mats and okay so I do have those now the other thing is I seem to be just way over my limit here in the house with wool it's everywhere and I mean everywhere just about every room but the bathroom so <clears throat> I definitely need to do something about that um so we're having a sale. I do have uh, one of these um, Mary Tread kits and it's in this shade. It's a very light shade. And I don't have the panel. I don't have a piece long enough for a panel. So what I've done is I've uh, done them the same as, if you remember the old and worn, the uh, dark rug that had the center pieces. So this is just a one of, and well, it's difficult to do this, but you'll get some idea what it's like. It has the three on each side, and then it has the center piece. And I'll see if I can move that a bit. And it would have the three, three pieces on each side, the center, three pieces on the other side, and not the long piece. And it is a very nice old blanket. Um, actually, <clears throat> this is part of the blanket. It had one of those strips on it, very old wool. So I have that on, and that's going to be on sale because um, I just have to get rid of some of the stuff. It will have the thread, uh, everything cut, but you will need to round your, round your tongues. And that is, the pattern is in with the, with the kit. Everything but the, the backing uh, is in the kit. So it's a one of, and no more. And I'm going to have that one on sale. And it will be a center. Let's see now. The same as the old and worn tongue rug. Not a long piece. <clears throat> so that's that. That will be on sale. Just one of them. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with those cutters. There is a possibility that I won't be making more of the, I gotta find a place for this, more of the uh, bags of pennies. Now, I do have how many? I have five bags of pennies left. You remember these were the pennies, had them in the bowl and all different sizes. I have five bags left and I really want them gone. So they are going to be on sale and marked down. One and only of the Mom Pa kit. 
and that will be on sale. I want that gone. It's just a one of. And I think that's all for the sale items. So it will be the pennies, one kit of the mom paw, and one kit of the tongue rug. And then <clears throat> I have, as I've shown in the other video, and I'm not going to take this apart, but it's the same wool. Um, I have six of the six of the stocking kits and they have three patterns inside and there is enough wool to do quite a few of the applique. Now you will need to have your own material for the stockings. This is just for the applique and I do have, well I don't have string in those but I do have string. String will be included with them. I have to open them and put string in, I guess. I forgot. Um, remember, you will need your own wool for the stockings. This is just for the applique. And it, there's enough wool. There's 12 pieces of the different colors. So it will make much more than just three. I'm not sure how much it'll make, but you can get quite a few stocking fronts from it. So there's six of those. I also had um, requests from people that already had the pattern and they just wanted to buy the wool. So I have, what do I have of these? Three, I have three of the bundles of wool for the applique pieces and I'm going to put thread in too. I forgot thread in everything. Oh my, this out of sorts thing is just, totally messed me up. So then um, I have uh, four. I have four bundles and I'm, I'm selling my scrap because I'm not sure what's going to happen with the pennies. I'll just put that down a bit. Uh, and it's just so much scrap here. So I have four bags of this and this is very nice. Uh, it's men's suiting. It's different kinds, different shades, different sizes. It's just scrap. Let's see if I can get a good fair. <clears throat> Some are long pieces. Most of them are long. There are a few short pieces, square pieces, but lots of different varieties. These were left over when I made the kits for the Mrs. Brown, Mrs. Brown sewing kits. This is what was left over and there's quite a few colors. It's all wool, but this would be good for that. Uh, this is probably good for rug hooking, I would assume. Don't know about that, but just also, and there's a lot of it here. And what I did with my scrap was, um, I don't want to go over a pound when I ship. So all of my scrap, my pennies, um, the wool bundles, everything, I take it as close to uh, 16 ounces as possible because anything under 16 ounces um, is less to ship and easier to ship. So most of them are 15 point something ounces. So that would be a 15 point something ounce bundle of nice men's suiting wool. And I have four of those that will be listed. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> what to do with the scrap that was supposed to be cut for pennies and could not be cut? Well, it's going to be listed as scrap. There again, it's going to be uh, close to 16 pounds, 15 something. And they're various sizes. Now, I have two, wait, let's see now. I have two bags of these, and these are the quite larger sizes, like this. 
and so these are pinks and beige, about that size. So I have two bags of those, and I'm going to list those as scrap. And probably, if the cutters do not work, we can't get them fixed, then I will be listing scrap like this from now on, rather than cutting it into pennies and then um, listing the bags of pennies for sale. Okay, I have two of those. And then the smaller pieces. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> how am I gonna get that open? Hmm. That's interesting. And do remember that the string comes with the, um, the bundles for the stockings, whether you do the pattern or not there will be string in with it. And I did have a request, uh, do I sell my string alone? Sometimes I do, but right now I don't have a lot of string. So I'm sort of saving it for the bundles and the kits and things. Well, that's not gonna work. So if all else fails, So, and I think I'm going to have to pile these much neater than they are. But there again, it's 15 point something ounces. But these are various colors. These are most these are mostly the the beige and that type of thing. But these are various colors. Um, there are a few small pieces like this but it's really good wool. Uh, some large pieces, but I have three of these with the small pieces in. So those will be listed. And I do believe that's everything for now. Um, I will have, um, we did get some pennies cut before the cutter went bad. So uh, what I think I'll do, and it's not enough for a, a bundle, not enough different colors, it's specific colors. So I think what I'm going to do is use those and set out um, quite a good size penny rug and I'll have that listed. Um, what else is coming up? Oh, more, more bundles, but not for the stockings. This will just be like the various other colors that I have here. I'll do them in something like that and put them in bundles. Uh, they're again under a pound. And I do believe that's it. I had everything wrote down, you know. <laughs> so this is Sunday, September 11th. Um, I will be posting the video on the group. Um, but I won't have these listed until tomorrow morning. The reason being, um, it gives everyone a chance to go in the group and see the posting and watch the video, and then everyone has a chance to get it because there are one of the markdown things, the pennies, the, the rug, and the mod paw, and there's not that much of the, the scrap bundles either, so. So that's it for now. Uh, I'm not really sure where I'm going after this. I really want to do those um, those wool applique patterns and uh, make those new new rugs and new kits. But um, it it depends depends on what happens day to day. So I hope you all have um, a great weekend. Um, enjoy this evening. And remember to check oldpennyrugs.com tomorrow morning because that's when I will list them. Okay, have a great day, everyone. And happy stitching. <laughs>